Colleges and universities across Ohio and even the Midwest are seeing a drop in enrollment. That includes at Youngstown State University and Kent State. First News reporter Brandon J.C. shares why it's not a surprise to them. According to Youngstown State's website, enrollment is down 4% from last fall. Kent State's website says they are down about the same amount. We have seen um, decreases in enrollments that are consistent with what projections ha have been. From 2010 to 2020, Ohio schools have seen a drop in 11% in full-time equivalent enrollment. That's according to the Ohio Department of Higher Education. Pure and simple, they're just uh, uh, fewer high school graduates, fewer babies born during a certain, a certain time period and migration of people d to different parts. YSU's enrollment is the lowest it has been since becoming a state university in 1967. That's sobering news, but it's not surprising. McNally says they saw this drop coming, and because of that, he believes they are in good position to manage it. He also said the money coming in from tuition and fees from last fall is down $2.6 million. We forecast for the entire fiscal year, uh, when you factor in spring and part of summer semesters, um, total revenue from uh, tuition and fees will be down by you know north of $5 million. This fiscal year, YSU received $38 million in federal COVID relief, which provided a lifeline for now. But beyond that, you know, we're, we really need to be positioned uh, to have in place a plan to be a smaller university that considers the more permanent effects of enrollment decline. The university is trying to focus on programs that bring in more students. Our graduate programs in particular uh, in business, uh, in nursing, uh, and in education have, have grown a lot. Smith said while enrollment is down, graduation rates over the past six years have increased. In Youngstown, Brandon J.C.'s WKBN 27 First News.